I'm Anil Kumar. We are practicing some word problems based on linear equations. The question here is, a bowling alley has a fixed base cost and charges a variable per game rate. It costs $20.50, that means $20.50 for 5 games and $28.50 for 9 games. Find the equation of the line relating C in dollars, C is the cost, and the number of games G in the form C equals to MG plus B. Part B is use the equation to find the cost of 20 games. Okay, so whenever you are given this kind of a scenario, we can convert these into coordinate points. So looking into the equation, when we say C is the cost, M is rate of change and G is number of games, right? So every coordinate point here could be represented in the terms of, let's say a point P could be written in terms of number of games and the cost, right? So based on this, we have two coordinate points. Let's say A is cost is $20.50 for five games. So for five games, it is 20.50. And let's say the other point is for nine games, the cost is 28.50. So we get two points on a line and that will help us to find slope and y-intercept. That's, that's how we are going to do, right? So based on these two points, we'll get two equations using this particular equation, right? Remember, number of games and cost, that is what these points represent. So let me use point A and B and write down two equations. So we'll use points A and B and write down two equations. A. G is 5, C is 20.50. So, so let me write 20.50 equals to 5 number of games and it's good to write variable later, right? Plus B. And for B it is uh, number of games is 9 but the cost is 28.50. So we'll write 28.50 first and then 9, M is the slope and B. Okay. So that is how we get two equations. So let's number them. Equation 1 and equation 2. Now we could do elimination or substitution to solve for these two unknowns. It is better to do elimination since B and B can cancel out. So we'll do equation 2, take away equation 1. As soon as I do that, you can see B and B cancels out. So we are doing from this take away that. It's easy, right? So if I do that, I get 8 equals to 9 minus 5 is 4 m or I get m equals to 8 divided by 4 which is 2 is it okay so m is 2 for us and I'll label this as equation number 3 we divide by 2 both sides do you see that okay now once you know m you can substitute m in one of your equations and find b so we'll sub equation 3 in equation 1 it is that simple I hope I hope you find it simple, right? So M is 2. We substitute 2 here. So we have 20.50 equals to 5 times 2 plus B or 20.50 take away 5 times 2 is 10, right? Equals to B. And uh, if you take away 10, you get 10.50. Simple as that. So you get the value of B. So what we have got here is M and B. Let me call this as equation 4. Let me summarize what all we have. We started with this equation, C equals to mg plus p, and we found that m is equals to 2, and uh, b is equals to 10.50. So based on this, we can now write down our equation, which is the cost is equals to 2 times the number of games played, plus a fixed cost of $10.50. Do you see that? So that is how you can read the cost. Now part B is use the equation to find cost for 20 games. So that's the equation for us. To find the cost for 20 games, we know G is equals to 20. So G is equals to 20. So we'll substitute G as 20. Cost will be 2 times 20 plus 10.50, which is 40 plus 10.50. And that is $50 and 50 cents right so it's good to write answers very clearly so our answer is cost for 20 games is 
in dollars 50.50 is it okay that is how these questions can be solved i am anil kumar and i hope you appreciate the approach you can always share and subscribe my videos and feel free to post any doubts or questions and if you like put some likes thank you and all the best